here because the outside world rejects you. Hey, what's up everyone? So uh, earlier today, uh, a bunch of you guys reached out to me, said, hey, look at this. There's this game called Smite and they're doing uh, Ninja Turtles for their next battle pass. And there's this pretty cool little trailer that came out for it. And you guys know me, when we get a new version of the Turtles, I love to break it down, talk about the design of the Turtle. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take a look at this new design of the TMNT for this video game. So the trailer starts off with Michelangelo coming down a sewer pipe on a skateboard, holding a pizza, yelling cowabunga as the Ninja Turtles theme song, the classic 1987 one plays. Just from what I can tell in this little part, I'm already liking the designs. Uh, Michelangelo seems to be wearing headphones, listening to music. This is when he kind of trips and drops the pizza, but Donnie saves it with his bow staff. We get like really, really clear looks at the turtle designs later on in the trailer. So that's when we'll talk a little bit more about the designs. But just like the environment and stuff, I really like the tone. Everything seems like dark shadows with a little bit of lights here and there and like rustic colors everywhere. They definitely nailed the tone of like the sewers and stuff. So Donnie Donnie flips the pizza up into the air. Leonardo comes by and slices it with his swords and Raph catches it on one of his side. And then you get an entire shot of all four turtles and they just look so cool. I really like the, like the brown leather straps for like elbow pads and knee pads and their belts and stuff. And then little bandages like here and there, like on their hands, on their legs. I hope the upcoming animated CG movie looks something like this, maybe like a little bit more polished, but something like this. I feel like a lot of people could get behind the designs but obviously with the budget of a theatrical movie release whoever did the designs on this trailer definitely knows what's up at least in my opinion if you can tell the turtles are all slightly different shades of green which is an ongoing thing in even past iterations of the turtles and they do it here uh, you could see leo's more of like a very like saturated green uh, Raph's more of a like forest green, Donatello's more of like an olive green, and Mikey's like a light yellowish green. And I believe that is typically the shade of green that each turtle is. So again, whoever did these designs definitely is a fan or got input from a fan. Now, anyways, the turtles are all kind of standing together and then they start hearing some rumbling and all the turtles kind of get ready for battle and their eyes go white, which is also a nice touch. And as you can see right there at the beginning when they turn white, they almost kind of glow white. And then the trailer goes into some footage of the gameplay, of the actual gameplay, I believe. First, it shows Mikey fighting with like a skateboard on his back, then Raph kind of going ham, and then Donatello as well. And Donatello's wearing his goggles now. Uh, they were on his head earlier. Then you get all four turtles skateboarding together, which is kind of cool. I don't think we've ever gotten this in a movie. It'd be nice to see them all just kind of skating around. It's usually just like one of the turtles out and about skating, but it'd be cool to see all four of them just kind of skating through the sewers. Then we get some really good looks at the designs one turtle at a time, and you see Leonardo pop up and his eyes are all white. He's got the two crisscross leather straps, which is very reminiscent of like the old toys. And overall, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Then we have Donnie coming down and he has one diagonal strap, but it kind of splits down at the bottom, which I think looks fine. Uh, he's got little pouches on his belt, which is great. Donnie would have a bunch of like tech stuff that he carries around, but not too much. I like how it's like simple, but there's just a little extra on Donnie because he is the tech guy. We get a little more of the turtle skating and then it cuts to Raphael, which Raphael has the one horizontal leather their belt which is what he's known for and he's got like little band-aids on him and like scrapes because he probably you know likes to rumble a little harder than the brothers which is you know in the character of Raph. And finally, you got Michelangelo, who's riding the skateboard, wearing the headphones, wearing just a horizontal belt like Raphael, which makes sense for the type of weapons they carry. And it does make sense for Leo and Donnie to do have, you know, diagonal straps that hold their weapon on their back and stuff. So overall, I like these designs I, for a, just like a battle pass for a game. It's a solid outing. I like these. Like I said earlier, I hope the upcoming animated CG movie looks somewhat like this, obviously with the textures and everything a little Little more refined but just like the general shape of the turtles and the little elements of the design i think something like this could definitely win a bunch of fans over now this is not all we also got a look at shredder and splinter from smite we'll take a look at that here at the end 
Uh, the trailer though does continue a little further. After the Michelangelo card, you get these side-by-sides of all the characters and like a second version of the character next to it, which I feel like is their interpretation of the 1987 version of that turtle. So you have on your left side, their own original design of the character. And then on the right side, a 1987 version of the character, or at least as close as they could get to it with like the base design. I wanna say both both versions of the character will be in the game. I'm not really sure, but that's kind of what I'm getting from it. And they do this for all four turtles. You can see it as they pass by and right under the character, it says Radical Leonardo, Radical Donatello, or whoever the turtle is. And then it says Prestige Track. And the trailer ends with a shot of the turtles all popping their head out from a manhole cover. And in case you were wondering, yes, they are in the same order as they are on the 1990 movie poster, in case you were wondering. Then Raft tells them to look out as a car comes by and they all go back into the sewer. Now, let's take a look at this Shredder and Splinter that Smite shared on their Twitter page, actually. The post says, we've got word that Shredder is mobilizing the Foot Clan on the battleground, so Master Splinter is joining the fight too. These rivals will be available in the all new Radical Chest, which I imagine is the name of the Ninja Turtles pack that's coming out. And these are more like just a still art form. It's not the character in motion or anything like that, but I imagine Imagine it's you get a good idea what the character is going to look like and these stills just look fantastic they look gorgeous the shredder one shows them off kind of pointing down at what looks to be three of the turtles because you got donnie's bow staff which is snapped in half you got leo's sword kind of sticking up there in the corner and you see michelangelo's nunchucks hanging in the background like they've just been defeated uh then you see the foot clan up on like the balcony area and they're all looking down just kind of watching the turtles get defeated but there's this one character off to the right which looks like Raphael in a trench coat watching and he's probably about to jump in now the shredder's actual design looks cool i like how they've incorporated the purple from like the old 1987 like cartoon shredder but at the same time he looks menacing like the 1990 movie shredder or the 2003 animated show shredder they did a good job of combining a bunch of elements and making a really sinister looking villain i love how his eyes are all white now let's take a look over at the splinter one and the splinter one looks pretty great i really like the way this splinter design came out he looks weathered and older but at the same time he looks like he can handle his own he seems to be in good fighting form and he's got some arrows kind of strapped to his back and you can see a bow just kind of sitting there off to the side and just like his clothes and stuff everything looks great with the little like Hamato emblems there on the side I'm really enjoying the way this splinter came out and if you notice in the background you can see the turtle van is kind of covered by some type of cloth but it's just parked back there and also if you notice at the end of the trailer the vehicle that comes by that has the turtles you know dive right back into the sewers is actually this turtle van i believe but that's it that's the breakdown of this ninja turtle smite crossover battle pass that's coming out i believe in november it said i'm not gonna lie to you guys i don't know much about the smite game it's something like league of legends i've heard and it does appear to have a massive following just from what i can see but as for turtles i think this is great for turtles just to be exposed to such a large following and especially with the designs they look so cool i think there's gonna be a pretty fun battle pass to get but what do you think let me know down below your thoughts on this new look of the turtles the battle pass do you play the game do you think this is going to be good let us all know down below in the comments section also if you're new to the channel and you want more turtles in your life go ahead and hit that subscribe button that's all we talk about on here is new old and upcoming turtle stuff you're not going to want to miss a thing thanks everyone for watching hope you enjoyed the breakdown i'll see you in a little bit with another video Pizza Dude's got 30 seconds.